Hey there, my name is James and I'm 17 years old. Now, I wasn't always this tall and my voice wasn't always this deep. And that's because of this wonderful thing called puberty. Some of you might be just starting to notice changes in your body. Some of you might be mostly done like me. Or you could still be waiting for puberty to kick in. Wherever you're at, puberty can be both stressful and confusing. So if you've got questions, maybe my story will help a little. For me, my puberty experience was a little rough. And not like any of the boys in my year at school. When I started middle school, I was short, baby-faced, and had the voice of Spongebob. It wasn't long before some of the bigger kids in my grade were shoulder-barging me into the lockers for sport. I knew I wasn't going to be short forever. Both my dad and my brother were over six feet tall already. It was just taking forever for my growth spurts to start. By the eighth grade, I finally had my first growth spurt. If I'm being honest with you, I'm not really sure when it happened. But one day, my grandma was over for dinner, and she did the whole, oh, look how tall you're getting thing. This happened right around the time I basically had to do a whole wardrobe refresh. My shoes were too tight, my pants were suddenly three quarter length, and every t-shirt showed off my midriff. Even though I was getting taller and slowly catching the other boys in my class, I still wasn't like them at all. I was a late bloomer. So while the other boys were getting muscly, I was skinny, awkward, and lanky. To make matters worse, my skin broke out in the most horrendous crop of pimples imaginable. My cheeks, chin, and forehead were like an ever-erupting volcano of pus. At first, I tried popping them, but I just ended up bleeding all over the place and having big sores over my face. Eventually, when I stopped picking and just started washing with soap and water, things started to calm down. Ninth grade rolled around, and thank God, I was starting to fill out, but apparently not where it counted. Now, the one thing about puberty I have yet to mention, and is probably the biggest or smallest thing on your mind, yep, I'm talking about down there. You guys might not be so worried, but I've always been a little concerned that my, um, <clears throat> you know, is not the biggest out there. I won't lie. I've seen some adult videos, and the guys are freaking huge. I mean, come on. So... Imagine 15-year-old me, already paranoid that I'm a little small, only to have my worst fears confirmed. Basically, I was in gym class. I was getting changed. Then out of nowhere, one of the boys comes walking out of the change rooms completely butt naked. Now, I don't normally stare, but this guy's penis was huge. Not only that, but it was surrounded by this thick bush of hair. Mine, on the other hand, looked like a gummy worm with a few stray hairs sticking out. From that moment on, I showered in my underwear. Thankfully, towards the end of the year, things downstairs had started to change. My penis and testicles started to grow, as well as a thick crop of curly black pubic hair formed. I'm not a huge fan of the 70s bush, so first chance I got, I shaved it all off. It turns out that shaving practice would come in handy. A few little blonde hairs had begun sprouting on my chin and upper lip. I only needed to shave maybe once a fortnight at first, but more as the hairs started coming in darker and thicker. That wasn't the only place I'd sprouted hair though. My underarms had a few wispy hairs as well. It was then I noticed a stink I had never smelt before. Oh my god, it was me. My underarms smelt like a cross between wet puppies and three week old raw chicken. From then on, it was two showers a day and half a can of deodorant. You'd think that would be the end of the nightmare, but oh no. All through 10th grade, my voice would shift from high pitched to baritone, all in the same sentence. Everyone would scream out testy pop whenever my voice squeaked and laugh like it was the funniest thing ever. Obviously, my first few years of puberty weren't easy, and your experience will probably be a whole lot easier. But if there is one thing I know, no matter how embarrassing, what you're going through is completely normal and totally worth it. Thanks for watching today's video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos about all things puberty.